Simon, I guess, was the pull of uh, playing in the SPL just too good to resist? Oh, I, I think so. I think um, as a player, uh, anywhere you play, you want to be, whether it's England or, or, or Scotland, you want to be playing the top of the division. And, uh, I think, uh, obviously, SPL was that, and, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, had circumstances been so different, you could have still been playing the SPL, but with St Johnson, would that have uh, influenced your decision in any way had St Johnson gone up? Oh, that, of course, I, th I think... Uh, Obviously, you know, I was, I was settled at the club, and, and it's something, you know, that to be honest, you, you'll never know. Um, but like I said, you know, more than happy to be at Motherwell. Um, like I said, it's, it's SPL football, and uh, I want to be a part of uh, taking Motherwell forward. We'll look at the, your career that lies ahead at Motherwell in a minute, but first, what sort of St Johnson team do you think you're leaving behind? Do you think Nolan Coyle can bring them up to the SPL? Without a doubt, without a doubt, I think. Um, He's, uh, you know, uh, two years that he's uh, been in management at St Johnson. I think we've we've done really well there in the past, and uh, I think it, it definitely takes St Johnson forward. And and I, you know, I can see St Johnson get promoted next season, especially with the squad that they've got there now. What did you say to Owen when you were telling him you were coming here? What was the chat like? Um, it was hard to be honest, um, because you know I, I get on so well with the, um, with with Owen Quarrel and. Uh, and I've enjoyed my time at St Johnson, and, and to be honest, it was, it was hard. But you know, you could totally understand it. Um, you know, that, um, as, as a player, you want to be playing the highest division, and that's, um, that's the situation. And you totally understood that. And uh, yeah, so like I said, it was hard, but it had to be done. Footballers or managers tend to speak to people who've been at a pre that club previously. Yeah. Yep. One who's clearly at that club, but I suppose to, it's not something you can say to him. Well, what what can I be going to if I do go here or I do go? Uh, well, not not at the moment. I mean, it's it, you know, um, like I said, I, I've been speaking to him constantly over the summer, and uh, and obviously even, even after I did tell him, um, he spoke he spoke to me a few days later and just said, you know, go and do what you, you know, go and show what you can do, and, and he and he was giving me advice on, on that. So um, like I said, I've, you know, I'll have no no hesitations in picking up the phone and speaking to him again about advice or whatever you know. Obviously the manager was unveiled here yesterday, just tell us how the deal came about, when was it agreed, who was it agreed with? Well I mean I'd, I'd been speaking to Mavua and numerous clubs uh, come the end of the season and um, I'd, I'd had a meeting with uh, Malpass, Malpass with obviously the, the previous manager and, uh, and it went well and um, then obviously circumstances changed and um, I was quickly um, Contacted, but obviously by by people at Motherwell saying you know that we still wanted to come to the club, and which was uh, which was nice, which was obviously which was good to hear. And um, obviously at Scott Lidge got appointed. Um, I spoke to him a couple of times and um, and, and got the deal done and dusted on, on the Saturday. Mm. Did, any reservations or concerns that the manager who is in charge is not the guy who signed you? Oh, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, like I said, I was speaking to Malpass before. Um, when I actually signed, obviously Scott Leach was um, was actually you know um, the caretaker boss at the time, and uh, and with the with the, with the plan, obviously that McGee would be coming in, you know, the, the new gaffer. So, uh, like I said, obviously you know no reservation whatsoever, um, you know, of uh, SPL football club, and, and that's where I'm going to be playing. It. And what has your chat been like with the new manager? Oh, it's been good. Like I said, I mean, the first time I spoke to him today, and uh, obviously we were just having a chat. You know, where, where you know where he wants to take the club forward and, and how he's going to do that, and uh, I'm glad to be part of it. So I'm mentioning the first of uh, many. First of a few, I hope. I mean, I think that uh, I'm not sure we can afford many. Uh, we want to get quality, so we don't want to spread it too thinly. Um, but you know, he's a player that um, uh, has been described to me as fits the mould of what I would be wanting. So I'm quite happy to make him my first signing. Of course, you know, I would have had a veto if I, you know, wanted to say to the chairman that. Uh, the, you know that I, I don't want to sign this player because I haven't seen him. Mm -hmm. Then I could have done, but you know I had that uh, you know within my, my my right as an incoming manager. But I, I felt that having heard what I've heard about him, that he's a player that we should sign. What was the mechanics of how the deal came about? It's presumably it was under Scott that uh, agreement was reached. Is that right? Uh, well, it was under Scott and, uh, and and Stuart Robertson, obviously discussing it with um, with Simon and with his representatives that brought it to this. So. Um, you know, that all came before me, but that's fine, because it's an easy job for me to walk in, <laughs> shake the boy's hand and uh, and make him welcome. Uh, presumably there are other players that uh, the coaching staff will have looked at prior to your arrival. Yeah. Would you be um, willing to go for these players as well? Well, I'd be willing to consider it, you know, because, um, you know, I've I made no secret, uh, you know, I didn't hide from the fact that, you know, their knowledge of, intimate knowledge of the Scottish game is better than mine at this moment in time. You know, I expect to catch them up very quickly. But um, you know, when they mention certain players, I have an impression of some 
some I've never seen and some I know. So, you know, depending on what level of uh, knowledge I have about players, I can make a judgment. So therefore, I have to, in some cases, rely on them. And, uh, you know, that's fine. You know, I think that uh, I'm quite prepared to do that. And staff-wise, will it be evolution rather than revolution? Um, I think a little bit of revolution is required. And that's not um, any criticism of previous re previous regimes. I just think that, you know, as a new manager, I have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, so, first of all, people that are already here, players that are already here, are going to have to prove to me that they've got a right to be part of the future here. Um, and, and those that do will be, and those that don't will be asked to, to move on. Um, the, the new ones we bring in, we've got to make sure that our quality to improve the squad, and we've got to offer the supporters. You know, revolutions may be strong, but you know we've got to we've got to offer them something new, something fresh, uh, something that wants them to buy season tickets, and something that wants them to come here and enjoy games. And uh, you know, it's not supposed to be a punishment coming to watch your team. You know, it's supposed to be a, a, a money well invested. So you know, we've got to bring a product on the football field that makes them feel as if they get value for money. Mm. And the players that you will bring on board, is this to kind of balance? Because Motherwell, historically, certainly in the last five, ten years, has depended a lot on youth. Are you looking to strike a balance between the youth that you have and bring experience in? Well, exp experience can be expensive, you know, so we don't have a huge amount of money, but we've got to use our money well. And therefore, I've got to sort of look to, you know, um, I'll be looking in England at premiership clubs, I'll be looking abroad at players that, you know, that need experience. As well as you know, trying to find a player here and there that is experienced, that is of the quality, and maybe at the time of his career that we can afford. Sure. So it's a little bit of both. But you know, what we don't want to grow is just just take players we can afford. You know, they've got to be players that improve the team um, first and foremost, and then if we can afford them, we get them. If we can't, we can. How does uh, Motherwell go forward from here? Does he need to make more kind of signings like this? <laughs> like, like this, he says. Um, I, I, I don't know. You'll have to ask the manager that. But I just think, as a, as a team, and you know, there's, there's there's quality players here already. Um, I think everyone can see that, and it's just uh, you know, getting off to a good start to the season, getting a good pre-season behind us, and, and and winning. Uh, obviously, getting off to a good start, and winning a couple of games. You know.